Okay, so this morning we're starting out on the Highline Trail, right? Yes. And we're gonna modify it a little bit because we we parked the car down at the Loop Trailhead, and we had this fine gentleman hanging out behind us. Hanging out behind us, going with us. He was kind enough to drive us up here to the top, so we're gonna go from the top to the bottom, and. We'll see. It's pretty chilly up here, but um, hopefully that gets a little get us gets a little warmer here as we go along. Two tenths of a mile in, we come to this area. It's just got a nice, nice little rope over here, but it's um it's a gradual drop off at least right here. But I think it's a little steeper as we go up. It's got a great view. parts to the trail that were narrow, especially right here. You can see it drops off pretty substantially, but you can just stand next to the cliff and walk by pretty easily. There's also that rope to hold on to. So we were about a, a little over a mile and a half in and the trail continues just to go alongside the mountain and it's beautiful views the whole way. And then up above is snow-capped peaks and this is a little bit more like grassy but back there we just came through some woods and uh, we're just trucking along we're back to more a little bit steeper of a drop off here down down there and above the road and then if you can see up there i think that's where we're going and then i think that over there is haystack we're just keep trekking along here a little over 2.15 miles in. Keep going here around the bend. I think it's going to be pretty nice. Oh wow, the grass there. Maybe we'll see some wildlife. We haven't seen anything yet to speak of. You see the people down there are very small. And it's just beautiful views over here. And that's where we came from. It's just a so beautiful up here. So we just made it to the pass. We just talked to some people. They said it was, there was a bear on the trail up here and they said it's off the trail now. That's a little icy. So we're gonna try to get through in case the bear comes back on the trail, comes this way. Might be just a little opportunity to get through, but it's really good views. We just came out over top. You can see many more mountains here. We decided to pass up the haystack. Haystack Butte, which is a little bit to our left. The bear yes, should be just down to our left somewhere, I don't know. There's supposed to be ice up ahead, so we might have to put our ice spikes on. Let's see if we can find the bear. We have found the bear. He's way down the hill. Can't see him very well. So we just came around the bend. There was some ice in the trail. We didn't have to put our, our uh, ice grip things for our shoes on. And then it's just so nice along this trail. Um, and there were some trees up above that we came through that had some ice on them. And it's just beautiful with the snow on. This is just an incredible view. You can see Lake McDonald through there. And then the trail just continues on here. but it's just so beautiful with these trees and the mountaintops. The trees are really cool here. They're very dense and very uniform. And it's a beautiful view and the trail goes out here. We're kind of coming down a little bit and it looks like it goes straighter across here, flatter. Like a little marmot. I think that's what the bears are eating. It's got like a little branch and maybe it's building a nest. Mm. So we just had lunch here. It's about a little bit less than six and a half miles in. We ate on some rocks, which was nice. It's sunny out now and we're continuing to trek on. Let's see, I don't think you can see, but that line up there, there's people walking. 
up to the overlook, which I think we're gonna do today. We tried to do it yesterday, but they said it was too icy. And then out here, you got the lake still, you can still see barely, and the mountains. We're getting ready to come through this wooded section, it looks like. And then I think we're, we should be about a mile away from the chalet. So we're getting ready to go the split here. We're at 6.85 miles. We're gonna go to Grinnell Glacier Overlook, which we couldn't do yesterday. It's just up here on the right. And it goes up along the side of the mountain. And it should be a nice overlook of the glaciers on the other side. Okay, so we are climbing up the overlook and it definitely it's a lot more elevation than we've done today just gradually up the slope okay this is some pretty steep elevation here yeah it's very steady constant we're going around the end as well okay so I just talked to some guys they said it wasn't super icy up here, which is good, but it's still pretty steep and it's this rock that slips off down to there, which is a good little distance. Can't really see it from the camera, but it's uh, steep. Like you probably won't just, you know, fall probably 50 feet before you get onto more gradual incline. It's like a waterfall or like little dripping area here. There's a little snow on the ground here. And it's pretty steep. I think we're almost here though. So, well, we made it to the top here. It is when you just walk around through the pass. But it is uh, quite beautiful. You can see the glacier just down here. A little bit better view up on. Grinnell Glacier, Grinnell Glacier Overlook. You can see the glaciers and then the mountaintops. And you pan over and you can see the lake from what we saw a little bit earlier. It is pretty steep here. You can't see it very well, but we're hundreds of feet up here for sure. Getting ready to go back down. Hopefully it's not too slick. How are you feeling? A little chill. It's a little cold. Ready to it's put on my gloves. It's very windy up through that. Probably 30 mile an hour. At least 30 mile an hour gust. It's very cold. cold. And then we're going to the chalet, which you can see because it has a little new roof on it. But it is windy as all get out. So hopefully we get down safely here. I think down might be more dangerous than coming up because you got more downward pressure and then you got some snow still on here. I'd say make sure you are careful and come do this trail. Okay, so we're still coming down from the Grinnell Glacier, Grinnell Glacier here. And the elevation that we've gone um, is about a thousand feet from, uh, I believe the bottom where it splits off of uh, the Highline Trail. And this is the garden, garden wall. So it is chilly up here. Probably the wind chill, it's probably in the 30s. But we're making our way down, which hopefully, it seems longer than 0.8. Let me see if I can see on my phone, my watch. 8.54. Well, I guess we went up and down though. Okay, we're off to the chalet, I think, after this. Okay, we had to take a short shortcut, a uh, long cut back. We had uh, left something back on the trail when we ate lunch. Some bear spray it fell out, so went back about, I think it was probably about half a mile, so a mile total. We just came back through Grinnell Glacier Overlook Split, and now we're going to the chalet. We just came up on this tree that's been uprooted with a ton of rocks in the base, which is kind of are great and then the chalet is right there. So we are at 
0.6, which would be about 9.6 views looking back are awesome. And then you can see the roof of the chalet just up above. We're going to stop by there quick for a restroom break and continue on the way down. I believe it's a loop trail. I think we've got about three and a half miles to go back to the car. We made it to the Granite Park Chalet. We're just about to come out of the woods here. We've hiked down probably, oh, I don't know, about a mile or so, maybe a little bit more, a mile and a half. Coming out to a beautiful view here and nice sunny, sunny uh, trail. around the switch back here it's just beautiful looking back up there and to think we were all the way there's a trail that goes that's where the uh, glacier overlook is and we went right across that mountain it's a lot of elevation change and then you get where there is a fire there but the fall colors there are amazing against those green uh, spruces or those pine trees whatever they are and then we'll be going down here we are 13 and a quarter in. We're still coming down here. I think we're about a mile off of the, or a little bit less than a mile off of where we parked. So gradual decline here. Okay, so we're just going back to the Sun Road Loop or the Loop Trail. Somebody said they saw a little baby bear around here. So. Hopefully we don't see it. We're just trying to get back to our car. Well, we made it back to the car here. We're just a shy of 15 miles. I started a little bit late though at the beginning, so it's probably about just right on 15.